Good afternoon, everyone. Down below is gonna be a link for you to click on if you have a mobile device. And that link is for Adornit to text message you on product information. And you can select stamps. I'm gonna do it when I get off here. There are some new stamps coming out that can be ordered tomorrow. It would be a pre-order. These are in production now. Um, and they will be, I think there are samples for the designers on the live tomorrow. I could be wrong. Uh, but they will most likely be designing when, with them. If not, then they will be sharing with you what I'm sharing with you. Tomorrow on the live, they're going to announce who the lucky winner is to receive one year's worth of free stamps from Adorn It. So let me share with you the brand new release coming out. And I did ask for clarification. So the stamps that I'm about to show you, you do not have to be a subscriber for their monthly recipe stamp of the month. Sneak peek I'm, I'm showing you now, anybody can order. You don't have to be a member. Okay, so let me stop babbling. And these are all d designed by Diana. And this is a PDF, but this PDF is the exact size of the stamps. There you go. I'm sorry. I'm trying to wake up here. I'm tired. There's this adorable one and I cannot wait to play with this. Okay. So there's that one. Oh, um, just, in, I'm so sorry. So here it says when life's a jar, make a jam. Strawberry jam, which can be put into the frame. Um, this one here can be put into the frame and this as well. And then you can choose to put it in the center of the jar or not. And then when you get your stamp set, you'll have these little individual and these little bubbles right here. Um, these three little minis that you can stamp around the project. Next, we have this beautiful strawberry set, and I love these. Okay, so I'm looking at the little dots, and these are slightly different than the stamp set over here. The flower over here is different. I believe the shape of the strawberry is going to be different, too. So cute. So you have a little... Um, like wooden basket of strawberries with the little handle and then you have this beautiful I'm gonna assume as like a wicker basket of strawberries with this beautiful little bow oh my gosh and so you have um four little minis right here that you can um stamp and then there's this ribbon here that says strawberries I love this Okay, and then next is the rhubarb blueberry jam. And you've got this right here that you can um, make something with. And I kind of have an idea for this one, but we'll see. Okay, and then this little bow right here, a little button that you can put like right here in the center when your stamp set comes. And then a little, blue, a little cluster of blueberries. And then there's the cluster down here. Okay, so adorable. And then look at this one. Okay. So this one is um, 
smaller than this right here, obviously. So here's a set of different jars that I love, love, love. I love the sizes, you guys. I love the sizes. So cute. Look at this. I love the um, pattern up here. So cute. Diana, you nailed it. Oh, I love this. I love, 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 love. I cannot wait. I am so excited. But wait, they just keep getting better and better. Excuse me. <coughs> I have the hiccups, bear with me. So here we have Very Sweet. A cute little cupcake with a strawberry on top. And then we have this little pastry stand that has these three adorable strawberry cupcakes. And then you have another individual one down here. <clears throat> I'm trying to see if they're the same shape as the other one over here. Let me put it over. I don't know if I could see through. Hold on. Actually, it looks a. This one looks a pinch smaller than this one. So cute. So cute. And then lastly, look at this. A recipe stamp that you. That is not so anybody can buy this normally this would be for the recipe um, club members of the month but this recipe anybody can order this adorable little strawberry jam ribbon and this says freezer style meaning you're gonna make this and then put it in your freezer and then a different shaped strawberry here so beautiful diana you have killed it okay so that is the sneak peek i made two cards some embellishments and then a card topper that i just need to get on a card soon okay so ta-da <laughs> um, this is the fruit add-on and I had so much fun designing this card. So I used these little dots and I kind of made a frame around the card and then in each corner <clears throat> I used the flowers and I love it. I love, love, love it. Okay, so there's that and then I um this one right here the blueberry is on um foam so cute and i did two strawberries and a peach and then this is from this word market is from impression obsession this is from the um fruit salad stamp i believe i should have brought the stamp out here but no did i know okay and then next, again, using these, this little here, I made this Tilda card. And this is Tilda with a peach, I think is what the name of the stamp set is. And I colored her out and I noticed that the original part of the stamp has these little dots. And I thought, well, why not let's use the Adorn It stamp and I wanted to use the colors to kind of match the peach and then I used some of my dyes from my stash and some Prima flowers and I distressed the edges did some rolling of the paper and distressed with ink as well and then on the inside I have this little peach with um, some wooden paper background. 
I thought it was so perfect. So there are my two cards. And then let me show you the card base because this was the one stamp that um, I hadn't featured of the, all the stamps that I was given. <laughs> this is the Lone Wolf. So I finally colored this up and <clears throat> instead of using a black pen to highlight the little stamp dots here, I decided instead of doing black, I wanted to do white to give it like a softer look. And I used, oh, I'm trying to think if I used my gel. I can't remember if I used my gel pen or my um, oil paint pen. I don't remember. And so wherever there was a dot on the utensils and the bow and the heart I, is where I um, stamped, um, I'm sorry, dotted with white over the black dots. So I hope you like the color combo that I used. So now I just need to make a card with that. And then let me show you the embellishments. <clears throat> I recently hauled this little stamp from I think it was Impression Obsession and I thought why not make a little embellishment and use it for a for future project or make some embellishments to give away to my friends as little gifts and I colored up two blueberries and a strawberry and just glued them to the top of the picnic basket. I think it came out so cute. And then I used the Impression Obsession um, die. I think it's um, for like a tomato basket, I think. But I just used the basket part and I put in two blueberries and a peach. I think it came out so cute. Let me put these right here. And then I did two more baskets using the Impression Obsession Fruit Basket Dye. Um, I don't know the exact name of it, guys, sorry. Um, two blueberries, I colored up a peach, two red apples, and then a strawberry. So cute. So that's my third embellishment. And then I used the same fruit basket again. And at the bottom, I put two red apples, a peach. I stacked two blueberries on top and then I topped it off with a cute little strawberry. So now I have four embellishments that are ready for future projects, or I can <clears throat> put them in some pretty packaging in a bag topper and gift them to friends as embellishment gifts. So I hope you like the uh, my ideas that I've given for you. And um, make sure to, uh, most importantly, to check out the links. Um, you definitely wanna watch tomorrow and find out how to order these stamps when you watch the live. If there's any demos, you're definitely gonna watch that. And most importantly, you wanna tune in to find out if you are the winner of their one year of free stamps. Um, if you haven't done so already, definitely click, click the link down below to get entered um, before they um, cut off the entries, okay? Good luck, everybody. I will see you tomorrow on the live. God bless.